Footage of CM Punk and Jack Perry's physical confrontation backstage at AW All In at Wembley Stadium in London reportedly exists as the investigation into the matter reportedly is continuing. CM Punk, though, could he be at AW All Out this weekend? While Tony Khan wouldn't comment on the All Out media call that happened just a few minutes ago at the time of recording this video, but he has said he is going to try and let fans know if Punk will be appearing before this Sunday. Details on that, plus Tony Khan has also opened up on if Mercedes Monet could be making her AEW anytime soon. There were changes, reportedly quite a few of them, to AEW Dynamite last night. Details on what was changed and why it was changed. We could be seeing a Ring of Honor Women's World Championship match this Sunday at AEW All Out. And the WWE stock takes a major hit. We'll let you know why. Hey guys, welcome back to Rest News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. As always, there are plenty of news stories to get into in the world of professional wrestling. Let's start off talking about CM Punk because reportedly, incredibly, footage actually does exist of the backstage altercation between himself and the former FTW World Champion Jack Perry this past Sunday at All In at London's Wembley Stadium. Now, we've got the latest when it comes to CM Punk. Certainly, at least what Sean Ross Sapp from Fightful has heard about and heard from. Now, of course, as to where CM Punk is right now, last night for AW Dynamite in Chicago, Illinois, he was not there. CM Punk was at the Cauliflower Alley Club this week and, according to reports, was seeming in a very good mood. He accepted his honor and took tons of pictures with fans and other wrestlers at the event. As far as for what the relationship is between he and Miro, of course, there was this story that was put out there by Brian Alvarez that CM Punk and Miro nearly had a backstage altercation after the altercation between himself and Jack Perry. But that was quickly then found out to be not exactly true as Miro and CM Punk's Back and forth was purely sarcasm as opposed to anything serious. According to Sean Ross Sapp of Fight for Select, Punk and Miro have been in contact since the rumours of their argument took place over the weekend. However, in the days prior to that, AEW did in fact launch the investigation into CM Punk and Jack Perry's altercation. Fightful are reporting that they have been told that they have been collecting statements and interviews about the nature of what happened. This is actually the key aspect in all of this because Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select is reporting that they have been told that there is indeed footage of the instance as there are cameras all over Wembley. Therefore, whether it be CCTV or just general cameras filming in that vicinity at that time there is footage of this incident which should seemingly clear up a lot of the misconceptions or a lot of the eyewitness testimony one would think in addition fightful have learned that punk and tony khan did have an interaction that was described as quote contentious but little contact was provided now what's interesting about that is pw torch wade keller had previously reported that cm punk had chewed out tony khan prior to AEW All In, airing his grievances, his issues, and certainly used some very harsh language towards the AEW president. Fight for were able to confirm that previously, but they are now confirming that there at least was an interaction that was described as contentious, but they haven't gone as far as to describe it in the same way that Wade Keller from PW Torch has. Now, for those that are still holding out hope, or certainly suggesting that everything's a work in pro wrestling, according to Sean Ross Sapp of Fight for Select, this indeed is not a work. As is the case with anything in pro wrestling, though, it certainly could be turned into a work somewhere down the line. But as of right now, it's not a work. Now, what's really interesting about all of this as well is that, again, there's a pay-per-view on Sunday. AEW All Out from the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. CM Punk seemingly was scheduled for that show, but prior to it, Tony Khan today held a media call ahead of AEW All Out, and on it, seemingly, all of the questions were going to be about CM Punk, and the majority of them were. And according to the AEW president, Tony Khan, he is, and AEW, are still investigating the instant at AEW All In. During AEW All In, of course, as I mentioned, it was reported there was an instant between CM Punk and Jack Perry that occurred before the show went on the air. Immediately following the event, Tony Khan 
Khan at the post-show media scrum confirmed that an incident did indeed happen. He did not mention any names and he said that there would be an investigation happening to find out indeed what happened. Now, speaking on the AEW All Out media call, Khan was asked if CM Punk would be a part of the show on Sunday. He said, quote, we are still continuing to investigate an incident that happened before All In. I can't comment any further about it at this time. I appreciate you asking. If I could say more at this moment, I would. I'm still looking into some things. I promise I've always done my best to be honest with the fans. In this situation, I'm doing my best to be honest about what's happening and have been looking into this. We'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can, I promise. Now, later on in the call, Tony Khan was asked if fans would get an answer regarding the status of CM Punk at All Out by Sunday. He said, quote, That's my goal, I promise. That is what I hope, that we have a resolution. I don't expect a full resolution, but I at least expect more information by then. I'm going to keep working on it. It's been a challenging situation, to say the least, and not something I was hoping to be dealing with. Now, of course, CM Punk and Jack Perry are not currently scheduled for AW All Out. They are both reportedly suspended following the incident, but certainly it is interesting that Tony Khan is saying that he would at the very least hope to have a resolution by Sunday or before then to let people know, hey, should I buy the show? Should I, on pay-per-view, should I buy a ticket? Is CM Punk going to be there or not? Now, certainly, again, to kind of recap what the situation could be right now, there are essentially sort of three possibilities, not said by Khan, but just what logic would dictate the options could be right now. One is that Punk's suspension would be over by the time the weekend comes around and he'll be available for collision and or all out. One is that the company makes some kind of special exemption to allow him to work this weekend and possibly adjust his suspension to accommodate that. Or the other is that simply he'll still be suspended and he'll miss this weekend entirely. As it stands, of course, right now, we don't know which of those will be the case. So, of course, we'll keep you updated. If we get any more news, I'll let you know in a future video. Ricky Starks, meanwhile, who was reportedly possibly scheduled to face CM Punk at All Out this weekend, possibly in the main event for the Real World Championship, Starks is set to challenge WWE Hall of Famer Ricky the Dragon Steamboat to a strap match at All Out on this weekend's episode of AW Collision on Saturday. One would have thought, under normal circumstances, Punk would have gotten him involved in that segment, especially given the report that came out previously from Sean Ross Sapp yesterday that Punk versus Starks was discussed as a match for All Out. So again, if we have any more information on this, we'll let you know. Certainly, again, it's a developing story. Tony Khan has told people that he doesn't expect a full resolution, but some additional information on CM Punk will be made available by Sunday, and he hopes to let the, the viewers know about this. Um, but certainly, again, we just don't know right now. Tony Khan was asked by Sean Ross Sapp about the rumors of CM Punk approaching him frustrated before AEW All In. Tony said he feels like the card was really good at All In and that Collision has been very good and there were good dynamites to lead into as well. So basically he wouldn't comment on the instance and again kind of dodged the question when it came to that. But what are your thoughts on all of this? What are your thoughts on there being footage of the incident in question? What are your thoughts on Tony Khan possibly revealing that there's going to be some information regarding Punk's status before Sunday? What do you think that information is going to be? Do you expect CM Punk to wrestle at AEW All Out? Is that still possible? What are your thoughts on all of it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, Tony Khan was also asked about Mercedes Monet. Of course, she was at AW All In this past weekend, and an update has been provided on her status on if and when she could become All Elite. Tony Khan has said he isn't sure that Mercedes Monet will be cleared by the time that AW Wrestle Dream takes place in October. Mercedes Monet was featured in the audience at AEW All In in London, England at Wembley Stadium. The former women's champion from WWE hasn't wrestled since suffering an ankle injury during the inaugural New Japan Strong Women's Championship match against Willow Nightingale at New Japan Strong Resurgence. And Tony Khan has said that he is not sure she'll be cleared by October 1st when AEW presents Wrestle Dream in Seattle, Washington. He said during the media call, quote, One of the great stars involved in New Japan, who I have a ton of respect for, is Mercedes Monet, said Tony Khan on the recent media call prior to the All In, All Out rather, pay-per-view when asked if New Japan wrestlers would be featured on the upcoming events. I think we have a good relationship. I think she's one of the greatest wrestlers on the planet. It was great to have her at All In. She's not available to wrestle right now, but when she does wrestle, I think she's as good as anyone and one of the best in the world. I have so much respect for her as a competitor. Certainly, she's one of the top stars in the world. I don't know if she would be physically cleared at that time. I'm not expecting that because she had a major injury 
injury. When she's cleared, that is someone we're really interested in working with. So it's unknown as of when or when, you know, Mercedes is going to return to the ring. Of course, if we get any more information on that, we'll let you know. Now, there were quite a few changes to last night's episode of AEW Dynamite on TBS, and it has been actually revealed as to what they were. After a successful all-in weekend in London, AEW was back in Chicago last night for AEW Dynamite, with only days to go before All Out this Sunday. But while there was no backstage drama to speak of that we know of just yet, real-life situations conspired to cause some changes to Dynamite throughout Wednesday afternoon. On Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Mouts revealed that one of the things planned for Dynamite was a segment between Konosuke Takeshita and Kenny Omega, who are set to battle it out at AW All Out. Takeshita and manager Don Callis would appear backstage discussing strategy for the match, but Omega was notably absent. Quote, they were going to do stuff to build that up, Meltzer said, but because of the hurricane, Kenny Omega didn't make it. A lot of the Florida people didn't make it. Aside from Omega and others, the hurricane was said to have caused issues for Chris Jericho arriving to Chicago, although he would ultimately appear on Dynamite. Weather wasn't the only issue AW dealt with, as both Soraya and Swerve Strickland were scrapped from the show due to an undisclosed illness. Finally, it is believed that several talents also missed the show to attend the funeral services of Bray Wyatt, with AEW owner Tony Khan reportedly letting talent skip Dynamite to do so. There have been, there may have been issues putting Dynamite together. AEW doesn't appear to be concerned about the same issues affecting Collision on Saturday or All Out on Sunday. For those worried about Soraya, the AEW Women's Champion seems likely for a quick recovery as she's scheduled to team with fellow outcast Ruby Soho and Tony Storm on Collision against Hikaru Shida, Britt Baker and TBS Champion Chris Statlander. So those issues don't seem to be ruling her out for that long. Also an update when it comes to All Out this weekend because one match that hasn't been announced but maybe taking place could be taking place on the Zero Hour pre-show. Tony Khan wants to feature Billy Starks and Athena at All Out. On the All Out media call, Khan was asked about the current integration of Ring of Honor in AEW. In response, Khan noted he would like to feature Billy Starks and Athena on the Zero Hour pre-show, but noted he's still waiting for Starks to be cleared. Quote, I was with Billy Starks at the arena last night and waiting for her to get cleared because she had an injury. I don't think it's anything that's going to be long-term or super serious. Hopefully she'll be back soon. I was hoping to get Athena and Billy involved. If Billy does get cleared, I'm optimistic I can get them a match on zero hour. Starks and Athena recently formed a team as the two have teamed together to defeat the Renegades on the August 24 episode of ROH on Honor Club. Of course, if we get any more information about the status of either of them, we'll let you know moving forward. Finally, WWE stock has taken a big hit today due to news from Saudi Arabia putting an investment in a UFC competitor. WWE shares plunged 12% after dropping 4.6% on Wednesday after a Saudi Arabian sovereign wealth fund acquired a minority stake in the competing league to the UFC. Endeavor Group, which is merging with WWE, fell 10% as well. The Professional Fighters League part partnered with SRJ Sports Investments, a fund that's controlled by Saudi Arabia's PIF, by purchasing a minority stake in the PFL, according to a press release on Wednesday. The PFL Middle East division is scheduled to start next year and events will be held in Saudi Arabia. SRJ Sports is investing $100 million in the Professional Fighters League, according to a Financial Times report on Wednesday. Quote, while there is room for all to succeed in the growing MMA market, PIF backers um, argues poorly for WWE and UFC's medium long-term talent costs. Wolf analyst Peter Sapino, who has an outperform rating and a $135, uh, $137 price target, on WWE wrote in a note on Thursday we think PFL's accelerating investment plans represent a new overhang on WWE and soon TKO's valuation multiple the Saudi Arabian investment in mixed martial arts comes after the country has previously made investments in football here in the UK most recently also in golf creating live golf a few years back now there's analysts, one here, Curry Baker, doesn't see the Saudi Arabian investment as a game changer for WWE or Endeavor. He said, quote, bottom line, we do not view this as a game changer relative to the UFC's MMA dominance. Baker, who has buy ratings on WWE and EDR, wrote in a note on Thursday, in our view, the investment is not material enough to allow PFL to compete in depth of champions or across weight classes with the UFC or start developing a monetization ecosystem to sustainably compete against UFC 
Baker said he remains positive about the pending combination of UFC and WWE, which will be called TKO. He expects $100 million or more in annual run rate operating synergies in the new company. So certainly stock's gone down, but according to analysts, it's not too much to worry about. But there you go, guys. The latest pro wrestling news for you. Be sure to smash a like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Bottom right-hand corner. And I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.